Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue basic ECG course, second lecture, uh, heart physiology. My name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi. I am emergency medicine consultant. The function of the heart is to contract and pump blood. Uh, both atria uh, contracts short period before ventricular contraction. This allows the blood to move from both atria to both ventricles before ventricular contraction. The signal for heart contraction or cardiac contraction is the spread of electrical current from SA node to both atria then to both ventricles. <clears throat> the speed uh, with which electrical impulses are conducted through different parts of the heart varies. So the fastest speed will be in Purkinje fibers, and this allows both ventricles to contract in the same time. The slowest speed is in AV node. This allows both atria to contract shortly before ventricular contraction, and this gives time for blood to move from atria to ventricles. Automaticity is the capacity of certain cardiac uh, cells to function as a pacemaker by spontaneously generating electrical impulses. So uh, basic or the main uh, or dominant pacemaker of the heart is the SA node with intrinsic rate of 60 to 100 beat per minute. The backup uh, uh, pacemaker of the heart is the AV node. It's a backup pacemaker and with intrinsic rate of 40 to 60 beat per minute. Also, every ventricular cell can act as a backup pacemaker by a rate of 30 to 40 beat per minute. Normally, the fastest pacemaker, which is the SA node, is the dominant pacemaker. Uh, while impulse is conducted through the uh, heart cells, through SA node to both atria and AV node, then both ventricles, this all will be reflected into ECG. So once a pacemaker starts the impulse by uh, gen spontaneously generating an impulse, this will be reflected as the beginning of the PR interval. And once both atria will be depolarized, this will give the B wave. While the impulse is uh, in AV node and while the both or the slowdown in AV node, this will give us the remaining of BR segment from the end of the P wave till the beginning of the complex. Once the impulse will go through the uh, his bundle, then right bundle branch, left bundle branch, both uh, or both ventricular uh, depolarization, this will complete the QRS complex. Then uh, the ventricular repolarization will be shown in the T wave. Again, B wave represents both atrial depolarization. QRS complex represents both ventricular depolarization. T wave represents both ventricles repolarization. PR segment is the delay of impulse happens in AV node. Vector, uh, vector means that the electrical activity in the heart, which is transmitted from cell to cell, with different or certain direction and certain energy. So the heart has actually millions of vectors. If you want to add these vectors together, it's according to direction and energy. If two vectors traveling in opposite direction, this will have a net uh, a vector of zero. If two vectors are traveling in the same direction, this will give us a net vector of the sum of both of them. If they are in, in, in almost the same direction, but different in, in one of the axes, this will give us a midway uh, uh, net vector, as in the example shown here. Uh, lead. Lead is a special arrangement of two electrodes. One electrode will be labeled as negative, other electrode will be labeled as positive electrode. And the ECG machine, it's like galvanometer, uh, it measures the difference between the positive and the negative electrodes. This is the ECG machine, but with different elect uh, leads. So 
one galvanometer is one lead, 12 lead ECG needs as, as that's 12 lead galvano or 12 uh, galvanometers. Uh, how galvanometers will work is the electrode placement itself defines the recording direction of the lead, which is called the lead angle or axis. So the axis determined by the direction when going from negative to positive. If electrical impulse will going from negative towards the positive electrode, this will give us a positive deflection. If the electrical impulse travels from uh, 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 positive electrode towards the negative electrode, this will give us a negative deflection. If the electrical impulse is perpendicular on the positive electrode, this can give us flat or biphasic deflection. So according to electrode placement, the shape, the shape of the ECG wave will change. If this is a positive electrode, and the wave is uh, wave of depolarization is traveling towards a positive electrode, positive deflection away from positive electrodes. This will give us a negative deflection, or it's perpendicular will give us biphasic and with each angle different ECG shape. Thank you so much, and follow us for the remaining lectures for ECG module.